do a stir fry. All right, so today I'm gonna show you the main components of a stir fry. We start with oil, and uh, we use oils. The most recommended oil for stir fry is the one that can stand against high heat, or those ones with a high smoke point oil. There's so many oils, such as all refined oils, peanut oils, grapeseed oils, safflower oils, and like I said, all refined oils. Um, just search it up and you can really disappoint it. Uh, you know in China they use a bunch of different oils that are like flavored. They make their own flavored oils. One of the most important thing in their cooking is their oil, honestly, in China. And this is the first basic component when you're doing a stir fry. Right? Decide on what oil you want and pick the best oil you want. The second component of a stir fry is um, protein. Right? It can be any meats, right? from beef, pork, poultry, or um, anything. The other thing they use are um, pork shoulders, any beef shanks, chicken thighs, or tofus that can be used, and beef legs, right? Note that if you're doing stir fry, the ingredients should be dry. Always dry the ingredients so it doesn't moist. And if we cook it, it doesn't steam on the thing, and it's actually stir fry. So today I'm gonna use uh, beef and uh, chicken, right? But uh, this time I'm gonna use a breaded chicken. So when we're doing a stir fry, we cut it, we cut the ingredients very, very thin. Thin. Right? Not that much. Okay. So, Alright, so I'm gonna show you this technique called velveting. This is the most common thing that they do with their meats prior to cooking. The reason why they do this velveting technique is, to, to, you know, for the protein to get tender. And the other thing is for this thing to not to dry out when they're cooking. There's three ways I see them do it, alright? Um, after they do this velveting, is what they do is they blanch it with the oil or water the meat or sometimes they, they don't just blanch it they just start stir frying it. Alright so in order to do this velveting I'm talking about is the first step is see the beef and we need to combine the mixture of an egg whites, one tablespoon of uh, cornstarch, one tablespoon of any vinegar, uh, the most ideal one is rice wine or you can use a water. This is what it looks like. Alright we just mix that in there. This is just one way to prepare your meat when it comes to stir fry. If you don't want to do this, it's fine too, it's up to you, right? Um, there's so many ways you can cook, right? So I added the soy sauce because there's this one video I saw on YouTube and the guy added the soy sauce too. <laughs> Alright, so the next protein I'm gonna show you is a chicken breast, right? Um, what I'm gonna do with this though is I'm not gonna cook it like this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bread it and here you go, you bread it. Okay, so you're gonna cook it separate in a deep fryer or shallow fry. Alright, so note that there's millions of ways you can do this, alright, if you don't want to use this, right? You can just pick any any protein you want, right? You can even use a breaded one if you want or if you don't want, it's up to you. Alright, so let's talk about the third component. Third component is a vegetable. In my beef one, I'm gonna use some broccoli, uh, onions. Sometimes when you're doing a stir fry, right, um, there's some vegetables such as broccoli, carrots that are need to be blanched first. So you have to cook it first to get it soft before you add it to stir fry. Sometimes you don't have to do that if you don't want to, but most of the times, it's up to you. It should be cut in like smaller size or like, you know, so it's easy to stir fry the shit, right? Also note that if you're picking a vegetable, it's best to pick that the ones with the different colors, right, for the colors. Try to pick the vegetable that's gonna go together, right? If you cannot figure that out, this what you wanna do is search it up the most common stir fry and you can work on it, right? right? You have to cut the ingredients at least to the same size, so here you go. Right, um, the second one I'm gonna use is for the chicken. The most thing they do with a vegetable is when they're preparing it is um, they cut it on a bite, so just like this. It's either on a bite or like in a julienne. I'm gonna use this thing called mirepa, and it's one of the most basic uh, vegetable that the uh, French people use in their cuisine. Okay, got it on a buy, so it looks nice. There you go. Alright, so the fourth component are aromatics. Okay, we said aromatics, those are the ingredients that are like, you know, brings aroma, right, to the food. Such as ginger, such as um, garlic. Right, uh, chili, um, spices, too, right? But the thing is, you have to think what kind of um, aroma you want to put in your food. Okay, so you get to choose wisely in that too. There you go. That's the four components, right? You have to follow this in order in order to successfully do it. 
and the fifth component is the sauce. All right, you guys know that there's millions of sauce out there, right? Um, this one I'm gonna use the honey garlic for the chicken, and I'm, I made my own sauce. So this one is just soy sauce, vinegar, brown sugar, um, lemon juice, and honey, stuff like that. All just mixed together, right? Yeah, there's so many sauces all around the world, right? Um, you can pick the best sauce you want. You can just buy it if you want. If you know how to make it, make it. But the thing in sauce is you don't need much of sauce. It depends on you anyways. So yeah, I know, I know. But <laughs> I'm just saying, all right? Um, these are all the preparation you need in order to do this, okay? And so once we get all of this, this is the thing I call mise en place, all right? So this is what I'm talking about when I'm talking about mise en place. Is you need to be ready at first or be organized when you're, you know, when, so when you're cooking, you don't miss a thing. And so now I'm gonna show you how to stir fry. Note that if you don't have the turbo stove I'm talking about, is you can use, you know, you can use any stove that has, you know, higher key, right? It doesn't really have to be really high, right? Also, is you can use some, um, you can use a steel pan or you can use a cast iron pan to stir fry. It doesn't really have to be a wok. Um, the reason why I'm showing it in bulk is because this is the actual way they do it, right? Um, this is the real way they do it. Although, I don't have this turbo stove that they have. So, um, the first thing is always hot your, uh, hot the wok, okay? Heat the wok or something. I have all my ingredients here, right? So I, get, I can just easily to access it, right? When we're putting an oil, it's best to like swirl it around like that so it coats every pan, every most of the pan. Right, most people use chopstick, but I'm not a pro when it comes to that, so <laughs> my goal is to hear the sizzle sound. Right, kind of dry the ingredients so it doesn't, you know, doesn't simmer, doesn't ruin when you're stir frying. Right, you gotta hear the sizzle. There you go. You can see it starting to beep. Right. Just wanna brown it up. Then after that, we're just gonna put it back in the bowl. Bowl, bowl, bowl. This component is a vegetable that we're gonna use. So sometimes you, you don't need... <laughs> I stuttered. <laughs> and sometimes you need to like divide the ingredients, right? To cook them, so they, they fully cook. Because sometimes if you start putting all the ingredients together, it'll just mess up your cooking. So what I did to the broccoli, I didn't really blanch it. It might give me a shitty flavor because of that, but you can do that if you want. Just add more oil if you're running out of oil. Okay? Now you can either add the aromatics. So I'm gonna use a little bit of garlic, right? Um, some ginger. There you go. This. I can even use chili, right? So the last thing to finish this is I'm gonna use the sauce. This is the sauce that I, you know, I made. Right, um, turn it off. And this is the beef stir fry. Right? Alright, so the next stir fry I'm gonna show you is the one with the chicken. But in order to do this is first I have to deep fry my chicken, right? Then I can just do it with a stir fry process. Deep fry the shit. As you can see here, the chicken's done. We'll see if it's done. Okay. And so the first rule is don't overcrowd the pan. Right? I right, wanna hear that sizzle. Oh. Not only we're stir frying, we're seasoning the wok too every time we cook with it, right? Now we can add the chicken or and and things that's breaded, right? Combine it with that. Put some aromatics.
right? Then the last thing is I'm gonna use the sauce. Honey garlic sauce. Put a little bit of water. This is my second one. <laughs> so here you go. Yeah, these are the two things we did today, right? Um, this is the one with the breaded chicken stir fry, and this one's the beef stir fry. Wherever that is, that's how easy it is. And I hope you understood it. And you know, you apply it and you do it on your own. You can literally do it in anything. There's million ways to do this. Okay, I'm just showing you how to actually do it. So you know, for, so now you know how to do it, right? Um, that's everything for now. And. Yeah, I hope you understand how I teach it and hope you support me and like, subscribe and comment. That's everything. Um, bye, I guess. Ten.